The installation of the Maxi Rider is critical. Failure to follow the correct installation steps may cause accidents or can damage the crown, wire rope, or shivs. The Maxi Rider has six major components. The Maxi Rider hoist, which includes the wire rope protective cage, the wire rope and drum, the swivel, and the carabiner. The Maxi Rider stand, with securing pins and safety clips, the two wire rope cage bolts, and the hoist mounting bolts and nut, the drill template, and a tapped weld-on mounting base, the mounting bolts, nylock nuts and washers, handheld wireless remote control, counterweight with wire lanyard and shackle. Before installation, the customer shall ensure that the crown is on the ground and has adequate room on all sides to work on, including the top and bottom sides. Inspect the crown and make sure it is sufficiently supported on the derrick rack and is safe to work on and around. There are two methods for installing a maxi rider, the drill template method and the weld-on mounting base method. Every company has a specific preference or policy so be sure to follow your company's preferred method. Before you get started, there are a minimum number of tools you'll need prior to installation. Both installation methods use similar tools, so be sure you have them so you don't delay the installation or anyone else on the rig. Tools Drill Template Method For the drill template method, you will need the following tools for installation. One magnetic drill, one whole hog drill bit, assorted wrenches and sockets, one hammer, one punch assortment, one small lever hoist, a forklift and operator, or a pole truck and operator, one 3 8 inch shackle and assorted rigging accessories, one 110 volt power source, one cutting torch to cut the floor plate for the guide tube, one wheel grinder to clean surfaces if necessary, one electrician to hardwire unit. Tools Weld-on Mounting Base Method For the weld-on mounting base method, you will need the following tools for installation. Assorted wrenches and sockets, one small lever hoist, a forklift and operator, or a pole truck and operator, one 3 8 inch shackle and assorted rigging accessories, one welding machine with welder, one 110 volt power source, one cutting torch to cut the floor plate for the guide tube, one wheel grinder to clean surfaces if necessary, one electrician to hardwire unit. Quick overview of installation steps. There are eight steps to installing a maxi rider using either the drill template method or the weld on mounting base method. One, locating the right position for the maxi rider. 2. Marking the location and drilling the holes or welding the weld-on mounting base on. 3. Bolting the stand in. 4. Raising the stand mast and pinning it in if applicable. 5. Bolting the Maxi Rider hoist to the stand. 6. Installing the wire rope cage. 7. Testing the Maxi Rider hoist. 8. Having an electrician install a permanent 110 volt wire. Detailed step by step installation procedures. Step 1 Carefully locate the mounting position. The correct mounting position will be in an area where the crown shivs and other obstructions will not interfere with the safe operation of the maxi rider or the wire rope. The maxi rider is designed to run inside the derrick structure, not outside of the derrick. The optimum position for the Maxi Rider is as close to the center of the crown as possible and not on the edges of the crown. The Maxi Rider shall be installed where it either bolts through an I-beam using the drill template method or is bolted to the weld-on mounting base which has been welded to supports that are welded to an I-beam. The Maxi Rider shall be bolted in with a minimum of four bolts and can be bolted in any of the 12 available holes on the drill template. If you use the weld-on mounting base method, you shall also use all four bolts for the Maxi Rider stand. The drill template method shall be done by drilling through the drill template holes and through one of the crown I-beams for attachment. Step 2. 
Once the correct mounting position has been determined, position the template and mark the outer footprint and mark a minimum of four bolt holes as required. Also mark the wire rope penetration hole and mark any grating, floor plate or decking obstruction that needs to be removed. For the drill template method, make sure a clear and flat surface with a wire rope penetration hole has been made. Place the template in position and use the magnetic drill to drill holes in the I-beam. Remove the template and magnetic drill when all holes are drilled. Some prefer to tack the drill template in, which is okay. If you are using the weld-on mounting base method, position the supplied drill template and mark the outer footprint and the wire rope penetration hole. Using a cutting torch, cut the wire rope penetration hole and the floor plate out as needed. On some crowns, you will need to cut out the floor plate or expanded metal flooring, make appropriate measurements, and weld in two custom cross braces that will be welded to the I-beams. This will help support the weld-on mounting base and secure it to the I-beams. Weld the weld-on mounting base in and clean and paint if required. Tack the weld-on base mounting plate into place and finish out the welding of the base plate and clean up as required. Step 3. Raise the Maxi Rider stand in place using a chain hoist, forklift, or a pole truck. Use the supplied 3 quarter inch A325 or better bolts, washers, lock washers, and nylock nuts. Medium length bolts are supplied, but if you choose to use shorter bolts without nuts on the bottom side, make sure you use lock washers and that the thread length is 2 and a half inches. Also, make sure that a minimum of more than a half the diameter of the bolt extends past the seated nut or mounting plate on all four bolts. Step 4. Raise the upper mast and lock into position with the securing pins and safety clips. Step 5. Install the Maxi Rider hoist carefully with a helper and assistance from a hoist, forklift, or pole truck. When rigging up, assisted by a forklift or pole truck, attach one end of the sling to a 3 8 inch shackle and the lifting lug of the hoist and the other end of the sling to the lift assist equipment. Raise up the hoist and position it into the yoke of the Maxi Rider stand. The top bolt is tapped and shorter, and the bottom bolt is longer with a washer and nut. Use only the supplied bolts and do not substitute these bolts for any reason. Ensure that the hoist mounting bolts are secure and fully seated. Note, early model telescoping Maxi Rider stands will not come apart but new models have separating sections. If your Maxi Rider stand's telescoping sections will come apart, it is easier to assemble the Maxi Rider hoist, reel cage, and telescoping end section together on the ground first, then raise it up using a forklift or pole truck. It is much easier to stab the upper telescoping section into the Maxi Rider stand section already bolted to the weld-on template or I-beam supports. Step 6. Install the wire rope cage using the supplied bolts and lock washers and ensure that the cage mounting bolts are secure and fully seated. Check to ensure the cage and hoist do not have any areas where clearance becomes a concern and at no time should the cage and any part of the hoist come in contact with each other. Realign if necessary. Step 7. Next, you will need to check the operation of the unit. You will need to use a welding machine with 110 volt power, a generator with 110 volt power, or a 110 volt power source from the facility where the installation is occurring. Many welding machines have 110 volt power, but make sure the one you use is able to supply 15 to 20 amps of continuous power. Using a temporary power adapter cord, Connect the power to the Maxi Rider and perform operational checks ensuring that the Maxi Rider will operate up and down. When the operational field check has been completed, install the counterweight on the end of the cable below the deck and take up any remaining slack. Turn the handheld remote off and disconnect temporary power adapter. Step 8. Have an electrician install a dedicated 10 gauge wire with a minimum 20 amp breaker for power to the Maxi Rider unit on the crown. 
For questions on installation, contact BLP Services.